Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. In this video, we are going to learn how to rename column or table in SQL Server. So let's go ahead and open SSMS and connect to one of the SQL Server instances. Once you are connected, you will see the databases. Click on one of the database where your tables exist. And in my case, it is your database DB name. That's my database name. I have four tables here. And think about that. I have to rename a total sale by region table to the only total sale. So what I can do here, I can click one more time and it is going to let me edit or change the name. So I can go ahead and say total sale and then hit enter. So that's how you rename the table. Again, let's go to the columns level. And once we are in the columns, think this is country name. I just want to have country. I don't care about the name part. I want to rename. So I'm going to remove the name from there. So now it will be just country. This is great. You can easily rename your database objects such as table or column by doing that. But that's not really a great way when you need to provide the scripts for QA, UAT and production. And uh, you will not have permission on production to right click here the same way I am doing here and just make change you have to provide the scripts to DBA and DBAs will run those scripts for you. Now, let's go ahead and do the same thing by using the scripts. Open a new query and we will use sp underscore rename store procedure. So we say exec sp underscore rename. So this is the store procedure we are going to use. Just select the store procedure, press F1 and uh, sorry, Alt F1. So that's going to get us uh, the properties here or the helper. And we see that the name of the store procedure is SP underscore rename. The owner is sys and uh, it is store procedure. Created date. We don't really care about that. We have, uh, okay, parameter. It accept the object name. Then it accept the new name and object type. So we can use this uh, parameters to rename our objects. First of all, what we would like to do, we would like to rename our total sale to total sale by region. So you see that uh, I did not even uh, provide uh, here like a table or anything. So by default, if I do not provide anything, it's going to take uh, care of that. Um, so it will consider this one as a table and uh, it will uh, rename. Uh, also, you notice that here I do not uh, or actually I did not provide any schema. So if you do not provide any schema, it is going to take the object from the DBO schema. So DBO schema right here. So we are good. Let's rename, execute. Okay, completed. Now we refresh the table tab and we see that the table is renamed. Now we have a, a, another table called DBO customer sale and TB customer sale. So the table name is same, but they're in different uh, schemas. Now, if I will go ahead and take this uh, customer sale uh, table and I want to rename to something. So let's let me take this one, put it right here and uh, put it right uh, here. Let's say I will call this one uh, underscore new. Again, notice that I did not provide uh, any schema here. There are two schemas. We have TB and we have DBO and uh, this table does exist in both of them. So if I run this one, it is going to consider I am working on the DBO schema. So refresh and you see that the DBO schema table name is changed to the new. It did not even touch the customer sale table because that does exist in the TB schema. Now, if you want to do the same thing for the TB schema, what you have to do, you have to provide the schema name before your table name here. So we will say TB dot you do not uh, really need to provide the schema here as it knows uh, you this is a schema that's where your table is uh, and uh, it will uh, just rename the table so go ahead and run it and uh, now complete it successfully refresh and we can see that uh, now the tb um, uh, table that's a tb dot uh, customer sale is renamed to the underscore new so that's how you will uh, rename uh, your tables. Let's go to the next level and uh, do the column. So what we have to do for column, we say exec sp underscore rename. 
and then provide the column. So, and then new column, and then we have to say column because we are working on the column. This is object type here. Let's uh, consider this one customer sale underscore new. That's our table. And uh, I'm going to put that here. Go and uh, we'll say street address. Instead of street address, uh, maybe I would like to have just uh, let's grab this grab this one um, street address. Sorry, uh, here street address. And let me provide uh, the table name. So you have a table name and then you provide the column so, and then uh, you are going to provide uh, the new column name. Let's in consider this one uh, ST address. That's what I would like to have. And the type of object is a column. So you see execute uh, SP rename the existing object uh, name so in our case it is a this is the table and this is the column that we would like to rename and we would like to rename to the st address i did not add the table part here because it knows which table um, this uh, column belongs to so let's uh, go ahead and run it okay completed and you see that uh, the column is renamed to the st address now if uh, you, you notice that here I did not provide the schema name here as well. So if you do not provide the schema, it is going to take the object or consider it. This object does exist in DBO. If I need to do the same thing in the TB table, so I have to provide the schema. Let's say here uh, I have column. I have to say TB dot my table. This is my table and country. So I have to say country. And then uh, I will say uh, what name I want the country name that's the new name I would like and this is the column type so if I will run this one let me see if I will show you the same thing we have country here as well I'm going to run the both first I will run for the DBO so you will understand the whole thing if uh, I will not put the TB it is uh, going to only rename uh, the object uh, here in this table with the DBO schema because we did not uh, put the schema here. So uh, let's uh, rename, rename completed successfully, country name. And as uh, this uh, table also has a country name column and we need to, uh, sorry, it has country and we need to rename to country name. I have to say the schema TB, table name, column and new column name. So let's do this one now. Complete it successfully. Now you see that uh, the column is uh, renamed from country to country name. So thanks very much for watching this video and uh, this uh, SP rename uh, um, store procedure can be used uh, to rename your uh, table names or the column names. Uh, and uh, this is how you will prepare your scripts uh, with the, even a single uh, schema such as DBO or if you have multiple schemas uh, you have to take care of that part and provide to DBA and he can run in a QA UAT and production. Once again, thanks and I will see you guys in the next video.